Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick video here checking out some of the rumors for the upcoming Google Nexus 5. We must be getting an official announcement for this device pretty soon. I think they said it's going to release sometime in October. So the announcement for it has got to be quite soon. But yeah, let's go ahead and check this out. So right here you can see we've got this press rendering of the Nexus 5. And again, this isn't official. It's just a press rendering. It's not actually an image of the device. But you can see from the back of it that it looks very similar, if not exactly the same to that image we saw on that Google KitKat video. So it probably is going to actually be pretty much looking like this. Now what's kind of interesting is the Nexus branding and you can see that it's in a landscape form which is a little bit strange because if I pull out my Nexus 4 here you can see that the branding is in portrait which makes sense because you hold your device in portrait a lot more than you do in landscape. So I'm not quite sure why that is. It's in landscape on the Nexus 7, but that makes sense because it's a tablet and you, you, you hold it in landscape a lot more than you do in portrait probably. So it kind of makes sense. But uh, nonetheless, it's based off the LG G2 and you can see it's got very slim bezels. I actually kind of like the look of this. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of that. So here we go with some of these rumored specs and we'll start off with the screen. You can see here it says it comes in at five inches. I actually think the rumored specs is something like 4.97. Now don't forget it's quite a big screen, but don't forget the Nexus 4 has these on screen buttons so in terms of actual kind of app usage it won't be filling up the whole screen unless of course you put a custom ROM on and use something like full screen mode so take that into account and it looks like it's going to have a 1080p resolution which is something I actually really want I know people say you can't notice the difference but I can I can notice the difference between my Galaxy S4 and HTC One versus my Nexus 4 you can see the difference in sharpness so I'm quite excited about a 1080p display especially that you'll be able to play 1080p content natively it won't be any upscaling or anything like that and of course you'll have a ridiculous pixel density of 441 that's just stupid high we don't need to talk much about that and um, let's scroll down a bit here so the storage it says comes in 16 and 32 gigabytes and it says here 3 gigabytes of RAM. Now I'm not completely sure about this. We know the Galaxy Note 3 has 3 gigabytes of RAM that's coming soon. The Galaxy Note probably needs it because it has TouchWiz and it has loads of features and TouchWiz is kind of really intensive in terms of RAM. This is running stock Android which is really lightweight so I'm not sure it's going to need 3, 3 gigabytes of RAM. I really don't think you'll notice that extra gigabyte of RAM. I don't even know if it'll have it so you know, great if it does have it, but if it doesn't, it's really, really not a big deal. So yeah, just, just take that into account. Let's scroll down a little bit here. In terms of the camera, it's rumored to have a 13 megapixel camera. Right now on the Nexus 4, we have an 8 megapixel camera, so that is an upgrade. And you can see here, we don't know much about the video, kind of what it can do, but I am hoping, we've seen the iPhone can do 720p at 120 frames per second. I'm hoping Android KitKat really does bring in something like that to the camera, maybe slow motion, maybe 1080p at 60 frames, maybe, you know, something like that. I really want something new in terms of camera and video recording. I really kind of want that slow motion thing, because the slow motion does actually look really cool, and that would be great to have on a stock Android feature. Scrolling down here, obviously we're going to have the new OS, which is 4.4. In terms of the chipset, now it's been rumored, we've seen some benchmarks, and it looks like it is going to be the Snapdragon 800, which is just fantastic, especially if Google can keep this price range low, because it's a quad core at 2.3 gigahertz with Crate 400 cores, and the biggest thing for me is it has the Adreno 330 GPU. This GPU is strong. It can handle that 1080p resolution. It's pretty much right up there with the iPhone 5S's GPU. It can really handle its games. So it's something that I really want to be true because it's just going to be awesome. So in terms of performance, this thing should fly, especially with stock Android. So it's really going to be quite exciting to see. Scrolling down a little bit more we've got the battery and this is kind of the only disappointing thing I can see around now you can see the battery is apparently 2300 milliamp hours which is I think around 200 to 200 to 300 milliamps more than the Nexus 4 battery so not that big an improvement there in terms of raw battery size but I'm really hoping that Android KitKat maybe does something to the battery life you know just like the Moto X does. Moto X is brilliant on its battery life. We'll have to see if it has any optimization. So yeah, that's pretty much all we've got right here, guys. Like I said, this is all rumors and speculation at the moment. We have seen a few leaks. I do honestly think it's going to come with a 1080p display at around 4.97 inches. And I do think we'll see a Snapdragon 800. Now, the biggest question, is, like always, is the price. Let's hope Google can keep the price down just like they did with the Nexus 4. And this thing will just fly off the shelves all over again. Like I said, we should be getting that announcement pretty damn soon, and I really want it as soon as possible. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. Do you like these rumored specs? Do you like the look of the device? Yeah, peace out.